This is my old iPhone SC. I dropped it and broke it. You can see the glass is all shattered. Purchased a used iPhone off of eBay for $25. The nice thing about an iPhone SE from 2016 as well as an iPhone Success is these are the sort of the last models where you could service them yourselves. Like change the battery, change the screen, and pretty much everything would work. But now since iPhone 7, if you don't get it surfed by the correct uh, Apple surfacer, uh, things might not work, like the home button might not work at all, or Face ID might not work, and so this is one of the nice things about this older model, although it's pretty old now. 2016 is pretty old. I'm going to start by disassembling this which is my broken phone. So take off those two screws on the bottom. Most cheap kits come with this flimsy suction cup that doesn't work too well. If you get an industrial suction cup, it work a little better to pull off the thing. So my screen is pretty messed up. But I was able to lift some of it off. So it's a little difficult. It's actually lifting the whole glass. And I just want to get the frame off. Eventually I was able to wedge something in between. And now I can... Pull the LCD off. It's pretty cracked up, so I'm not going to be able to reuse much. <coughs> really splitting the screen here. Tear the home button over here. Pull this off. You usually have to take off the clip, but I actually worked on this phone before. So I need to. Unscrew these screws. It's hard to see, but I'm just trying to take off the 
screws. Now I can disconnect the cables over here. I should have powered this off. I didn't power it off. <clears throat> you see, this is a real amateur job. So like I said, buying a used screen is sometimes nice because it looks pretty good. This looks as good as it gets. It's bright. One one thing that can happen is the screen isn't that bright. It has a working home button. Camera front camera is probably working. But anyways, I'm gonna go uh, try transferring over, <coughs> taking off the screen, and transferring it over. So I'm gonna take off the screen on the used iPhone. It's kind of scratched up, but that's fine. What I'm worried about really is just if it works well. Hopefully I don't crack it well. Take it off. Another nice thing is I don't have to take off the front ca camera and the earpiece. I can leave that on. So that's the added bonus of It's hard to get a good grip while I'm videotaping. You can see it got into there. There. Flipped it out. Hopefully I didn't crack it. Now it's just a matter of me sliding across. Pulling out the screen. Again, I need to be careful when pulling this out. Clip. Pull this up now. Go through the process of removing the screws. screws. Of course I can't get to it.
off this off this that's it what I need to do now is I need to remove the old home button which I'm going to do right now on the broken screen to remove the black back plate. Then carefully I need to remove the old button. Luckily I've removed it before. Okay, now the fun part, <sighs> taking off the home button. backing plate off I need to remove this so I can try to remove it like this now it's a matter of me putting back the working one yeah. Get the back plate. Hopefully I can just screw this on. Of course I can't. Gotta get that screw out. screwdriver I'm working with is it magnetized or it's magnetized but not enough Blacking plate is back on screw the third screw while I'm screwing it so you know, I can see what I'm doing I think that's it now the moment of truth I need to put it back together
Sinn. Everything snapped. Now it's a matter of putting back this, which you won't see. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. You won't be able to see me doing that. I'm just going to lock in the home button over here if I can. You can't see, but. That's all I'm trying to do. Got it. I'm going to power it up. I'm going to try the screen. So everything works. Unlocks with my fingerprint. Took me about 30 minutes to do. The screen looks pretty good. I didn't have to change the front camera and the earpiece, which was nice. Save me some time. So I didn't really properly close it. I wanted to test everything first. And now I'm going to close the screen and call it a day. Everything in. It's not perfect, but you don't have to do. That's it. Probably could have done a better job over here, but it's fine.